so today i will talk about components of a bacter so for this consider a bacter in two dimensional space so say it is x axis it is y axis and here is a bacter a and let us call it as a point p so if i draw perpendicular from p on y axis and x axis respectively then it has two components one is the ax is this distance is known as ax distance and this distance is ay means it is a y and let us say that this is making an angle theta with x axis then this a vector it can be written as a x i cap and a y j cap because this is the magnitude so if a makes an angle theta with x axis so that means and let, let me consider now uh, this triangle say this point is q and this point is r so if we consider a triangle and say this is o so now consider a triangle o r p then in this particular triangle this o b sorry not o b but uh, in this triangle o r over o p is equal to cos of theta and what is this or this or is basically ax and here it is a vector magnitude and it is equal to cos of theta so from here ax comes out to be mod of a cos of theta that's what we are getting and what is this theta this theta is the angle between a and x axis let me write down it like this and sometimes uh sorry uh yeah and similarly if i take another triangle it is oqp then in this triangle this this oq upon op is equal to cos of 90 minus theta because if this angle is theta then this angle is 90 minus theta right because this angle is because x and y axis are perpendicular and you can also write in it as sin of theta and that means it is uh, oq is equal to op sin of theta or uh, you can say that ay is equal to a sin of theta it can be written like this but since we know that this ax is equal to a cos theta and ay is equal to a sin theta this is known to all of us but here i am going to write down it little bit differently means in terms of cos here not rather than sin so if i call this as then this is the angle between vector a and y axis so that means let me write down ay is equal to mod of a cosine of angle between vector a and y so let me summarize these two results now 
So if we summarize these two results, I can write down that Ax is equal to mod of vector A and cosine of angle between that vector A and the x-axis and Ay is equal to mod of A cosine of angle between A and y-axis. So this is a very important point which we have to keep in mind. Right. So, these are the components of a vector along two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. And uh, therefore, I can write down vector A as Axi cap, Ayj cap. This is equal to mod of vector A cosine of angle between vector A and x axis plus mod of A cosine of vector A comma y axis. So, it's not like this. Right? We can write down it in this way. It's I cap and it's J cap. So, it is mod cosine of angle between A and X, I cap and cosine of angle A, Y, J cap. So therefore, using this and this equation, I can also write down cos of A and X, it can be written as A, X mod of this and cos of a y it can be written as a y divided by a uh, the magnitude of vector a right so that's what we are getting here so let me uh, do one thing and uh, that thing is that uh, let me generalize this to the 3d so for 3D in the similar fashion, I can write down the things as say it is a x-axis and say it is a, sorry, it's x-axis, it's y-axis and say it is z-axis and say there is a vector A will be here. So keeping all things which I have discussed for the 2D, let me generalize it to the 3D. So 3D for 3D I can write down in the similar fashion A X I cap A Y J cap A Z K cap and it can be written as mod of A cosine of angle between vector A and X axis I cap plus mod of A cosine of a between ang uh, vector A and Y axis J cap uh, and uh, it will be mod of a cosine of angle uh, cosine of angle between vector a and z axis and it's a k cap right so this is a new way to look at this and uh, Again, I consider the two-dimensional case. For that case, let me write down the magnitude of the vector. Say it is a vector A and say it is AX and say it is Y axis. So along Y it is AY, it is Y axis and it is X axis. So if I try to look at the triangle, this O, P, say it is R and it is Q. So if I take a triangle OR P means I am talking about this triangle and it is a right angled triangle, it's a 90 degree. So that means and this distance is AY and it is AX. So in this right angled triangle or P, I can write down that AX square or uh, rather than let me write down it as OR square plus PR square is equal to OP square. So it is 
a x square plus a y square is equal to mod of a square. So here I can write down this as that mod of a is equal to its a x square a y square whole under the root. Right? Also, if I put their values here, then what I am getting? It is uh, mod of a cos of a x its square plus mod of a cos of a y its square is equal to mod of a square so it can be written as mod of a square cos square a comma x plus mod of a square it can be written here and it is cos square a comma y it's equal to this and this mod of a square is common so it can be taken outside it is cos square a x plus cos square a y it is equal to mod of a square so this will cancel out with it so that means cos square a comma x plus cos square a comma y is always equal to 1 right so that's what i am getting here and then generalizing this idea to 3d i can simply write down that a square is equal to a x square a y square a z square and from here i can write down a is equal to a x square a y square a z square under the root also keeping this formula in mind i can write down that cosine of square and angle between a and x plus cos square a y plus cos square angle between a z is always equal to 1 also let me write down the unit vector so to write down the unit vector as i know that a cap is equal to a vector divided by its magnitude so it can be written as a x i cap a y j cap and a z k cap divided by a so it is a x over a a y over a j and a z over a k cap so what is x a x is equal to a cosine of angle between a x over a i cap a cos of angle between a y over a j cap a cos of angle a z over a k cap and this is e will cancel out with it this with this and this with it so therefore i can write down that a cap is equal to cos of angle between a and x i cap cos of angle between a and y j cap plus cos of angle between a and z k cap so this is a new way to look at the unit vectors in terms of direction cosine these cos of a x and cos of a y and cos of a z these are basically direction cosines so this is all about uh, components of a vector so that's all for this lecture